Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting back up our monthly PR haul series where I show you everything that has recently been sent to me in PR. We get to just swatch, play around with all things new and beauty. We had to take a little pause for a moment just because everything stopped and things are slowly starting to trickle in. So I just wanted to start this back up. I know I got a lot of messages saying you missed these videos. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. Just always fun to do just to swatch all the things that have released or will be releasing soon. So if you want to see my thoughts on all the new makeup releases that I received in PR recently, then just keep watching. One of my favorite things that have launched recently are these new lipsticks from Bare Minerals. And I actually mentioned this in my favorites video already and I had to start off with these again. I'm wearing one right now, love the formula. I could go on and on about these, so I had to <laughs> do this as my first one. So these are the new Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipsticks. I have 10 of the lipsticks here and few of them I picked out as my favorite color. So I mentioned Grace and Focus in my favorites video. I am currently wearing Memory and it might be even better than those two for me. I just love the color. I just think it's so, so pretty. Without even reading any of the claims of these lipsticks, I find them extremely smoothing and hydrating. That's why I fell in love with this formula. I love the Pro Matte lipsticks that Bare Minerals came out with previous. They're one of the only collections that I kept majority of the lipsticks. Usually I pick a couple colors and send them on their way. But for these, I'm keeping them all. <laughs> they are so good. One of the claims that really stood out to me is that these are proven to significantly reduce visible lines, texture, and dryness in just one week, even when removed. So that is something that I'm all for for a lipstick. I wanna wear something that doesn't attack my lips and make them even more dry. So these definitely, I feel, leave my lips super smooth and hydrated. They're vegan and I just, can't sing enough praises about this formula. So if you have not checked out these new lipsticks, I think there's only 19 ingredients in them is what they're claiming. Then I definitely recommend checking these out. They have some beautiful colors. I'm going to swatch a few of my favorites for you. We have Memory, Grace, and Focus. Those are my three picks. They do have some reds, some purples, just a variety of colors in here. As I said, out of all the things I'm gonna show you, probably one of my favorite launches. They are so good, and if you really like lip color, I would definitely check out this formula. It's probably top three in terms of lipstick formulas I've ever tried. They're that good. Next, we have a little package from Giorgio Armani. I was really excited for this because I had yet to try the Luminous Silk Concealer, which is their multi-purpose glow concealer. I'm a huge fan of Luminous Silk Foundation. I actually just recently ran out of my shade in 5.75. I think it was like four months ago I filmed my empties video and I said I was going to repurchase. Now I do not have to. I have a full size here and I'm wearing it today. I love this foundation. It is on the pricier side, but if you've ever tried it, it has I feel like the best of both worlds for a matte, but also a luminous foundation. It gives you the perfection that I personally need for my skin, which I always go for in a matte foundation, but it has that luminosity that just looks natural and beautiful on the skin. So this is one of those ones that as soon as I use again, I remember how much I love it. So many people love this foundation. So I was really excited to test out the concealer. I picked out shade five and it is a pink tone, quite light for me currently, but I am wearing it today, and I just kind of dab my foundation over top just to blend it in. So it has one of those doe foot applicators like this. This does a great job at correcting my under eye. It doesn't have a full on full coverage, but it does have a luminous kind of finish there. And I think it's really beautiful. I love the consistency of this. If you really like the luminous silk foundation, I would definitely check out the concealer to pair with it. I love the finish of the concealer. If you can get away with not setting your concealer, this is my perfect kind of finish. It just radiates healthy looking skin. Like this is the kind of concealer that I would wear on just an everyday basis, minimal makeup, not full coverage, like a super cakey look like this. You can't go overboard. Just like the foundation, it is that kind of formula where it just melts into your skin and looks undetectable. So that's why I really like it. If you like how the complexion looks today, 
I'm wearing both of those. Then YSL sent over a couple lip products to try. These are the Velvet Matte Stains and they sent me three shades to, I think three, four. They sent me four shades. They sent me four shades to test out here. This is 204. They have the numbers on the packaging, but not the name. It has a very different sort of applicator, kind of like this paddle. So that is 204, beautiful shade. These are very comfortable on the lips. They have that traditional kind of YSL type of fragrance in them. If you're familiar with their other lip products, I love the smell personally. This just makes me happy looking at it. It's like my perfect kind of red because it has that very vibrant quality to it. So those are my two favorite colors. The red is in 201 and I just wanted to share those with you. Comfortable on the lips, do have a fragrance to them. They wear nicely. They're not like a drying kind of stain formula and I love the packaging of them. So definitely a product that I need to play around with a little bit more, but first impression, we're really good for these. NARS then sent over a couple packages. This NARS package looks like one of their blushes or eyeshadows, that soft touch. Turns into this big mirror in here. I love it. You can take out the actual products and set this up on your vanity or something like that. I just think it's so cool. It's like a big eyeshadow or compact. I'm gonna keep it forever. <laughs> Inside we have the Orgasm X collection, which I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about. I've been raving about their lip oil in Orgasm X, as well as what came out with their bronzing summer collection, which you will see. But oh my goodness, the lip oils. I'm wearing eyeshadow palette today, and I'm also wearing the cheek. <laughs> I love it so, so much. This is the lip oil that I was raving about in my favorites video. This has one of the best kind of consistency for lip gloss. I don't wanna go on and on about these, but honestly, my favorite kind of gloss is one that's oil-based because it has the perfect amount of slip to it, which makes it super comfortable. It gives it that shine, super juicy. Oil lip glosses are where it's at. Too Faced made them, these lip oils from NARS. They're the way to go, in my opinion, for gloss. And then we also have a couple eyeshadow palettes here. We have the Orgasm and the Orgasm X eyeshadow palette. This is the regular orgasm palette that I used for just like a simple daily look. Super pretty. Those are the shimmer shades that make a beautiful light bridal look I feel. I love NARS eyeshadows. Again for me NARS eyeshadows I've really had great success with especially their palettes. And then this is Orgasm X which I am wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing what side are we on? I'm wearing these two shades on my eyes. So the shimmer on the lid and the other shade in the crease, and I just think it's really pretty. The pigment blendability of NARS eyeshadows is top notch. One of my favorite brands in terms of their eyeshadow formula. And then this, this is gorgeous. It has Orgasm Highlighting Blush Powder, Orgasm Blush, and then Orgasm X, which is the deeper blush. And I have Orgasm X on my cheeks and then the highlight as well on my cheekbones and nose. If you've never tried NARS blush, you're missing out. Their highlight formula is also one of my favorites. I went crazy. I forget what color it was, hot sand I think. I had to actually put it down because I was just going so hard for it. But it is intense, so beautiful, melts into the skin. Their orgasm blush is iconic. It's been around forever, it's a cult favorite. And Orgasm X I actually probably like more. It has more of a punch to it, especially on my skin tone, it just works better. So if you're a fan of Orgasm Blush, check out Orgasm X, especially this palette. Like you get both Orgasm, Orgasm X, and the Orgasm Highlight. Then in the summer collection, let's try not to hit myself. They sent over their bronzing powder in Laguna. I'm sure you've all seen it before. I actually gave that away because I have it in a palette. Then they sent over one of their matte bronzing powders, which I'm going to give a friend because it's much too light for me. Let me go show you. I have it set aside for her. But you can see it's just much too light and she's very fair. So I was gonna let her try that out. Then they have their lip oil in Laguna. Again, obsessed with this formula. It looks exactly like it does in the tube. Then this is their bronzer in Paradise Found. Love the packaging on this. Looks like metallic sand. This does come with a gold overspray, which is unfortunate because I do not want that on my face. So I'm gonna have to swish that off. But the color itself is actually really nice once you get past that overspray. But I wish that brands would stop doing that. 
They also sent over their Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigment in the shade Stricken, which is a Disturb song, which is my favorite brand of all time. If you did not know, I love Disturb. So we got Stricken here. I'll listen to that after <laughs> this video. So how gorgeous is that color? I wore it on my eye the other day and it's so pretty. I love loose glitters and reflex like this. I want to check out more of the shades. Like this is so, so pretty. I love that they sent Stricken though. Next, we have a really exciting release from Makeup Forever. They actually have a few releases here, but one I was more excited for than the others. They came out with their Aqua Resist color pencils. Bunch of different colors. I have the shade Ebony and then one of these Aqua Resist smoky shadows, which are really cool. This is in copper. Just makes for an easy eye. And I just think the copper color would be really pretty. They let us select the colors that we wanted to try for each of the formulas. And this, most excited for is the Matte Velvet Skin High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. It's a 24 hour concealer. I got the shade 2.6 and I use this to highlight my face plus give a little bit more coverage just in the center. And this is beautiful. When I first washed it on my hand, I was a little scared. Not gonna lie, it was very drying it looked like and thick. However, thick concealers don't scare me off. I find they work better for me just because they fill in the area but this definitely blends out so beautifully super high coverage like it has some good coverage on it so I would just recommend working quickly with it but look at that finish I wouldn't even need to set this and it gives kind of a satiny finish I wouldn't say it's full-on matte there's definitely some glow there to that concealer so it's my perfect kind of finish in terms of full full coverage and I think this works really great for full on makeup days like today. So I've been a fan of this concealer for sure. So definitely check it out if you're interested. I think this is getting really good reviews on Sephora last time I checked, but I can see why. I would definitely even use this for all over my face too, just a few dots. It really blends out beautifully and gives you a nice coverage. So multi-use for sure, I feel like it definitely works for a lot of purposes. To save up packaging, L'Oreal brands send this Lux box as PR once a month. This one must have been sitting around for a while because it's covered in dust. When it came to me, I'm like, where have you been? So I'm gonna just go through everything that's inside here. We have some more YSL, Giorgio Armani, Lancome, Kiehl's, and It Cosmetics. From Kiehl's, the Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner, which I'm excited to try. My skin is so sensitive, but I read that this is good for sensitive skin, so I'm gonna give it a try. And then we have the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Cleanser, and this is for all skin types, which I'm also excited to try out. Then It Cosmetics sent over your skin but better setting spray with skin-loving hyaluronic acid coconut water and aloe vera extract up to 16 hour makeup wear I'm using this today and I've used it several times since and actually really like this setting spray I think it does a good job and then we have the superhero no tug gel liner in the shade super black which I have yet to test out from YSL I've been using this and this is so pretty this is the Touche Clot 3d all over glow illuminating powder so depending on your skin tone you can get away with this all over your face lately or you can just use this as a very light highlight. So this gives a beautiful glow to the skin if you just dust it lightly. I can get away with it, or I could use a more dense brush and really pinpoint my highlight, and it works as a more subtle highlight that way. So this is a really pretty concept. Love the packaging of this, so I have been enjoying that. And then something I have not tried is the YSL Pure Shots Light Up Serum, and this has marshmallow and vitamin CG in it. Looks like this. If you've tried this, let me know. I don't even know what this does. And then this is from Kerastas. It's their Soleil. Didn't even see this in here. For sun exposed hair, beach by phase. I wish I would have seen that <laughs> because I just came back from the cottage and went to the beach. Well, I guess I can save this. I'm going to the pool this weekend. I'm gonna throw you over there. Then Lancome came out with a new Monsieur Big mascara. I know a lot of people love the original. So this is their Extreme Black Monsieur Big, and this is a really good mascara. I really like the waterproof version. That's the one I usually gravitate towards, but I'll definitely give it a try. And then from Giorgio Armani, we also have some of these Ecstasy Mirror Lip Lacquers. And this is in number 400, also called 400. I 
think they've done that before, unless I've tried this. No, I have not. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see this color through the packaging. I love this design. Again, another color. I'm going for the reds. I'm gonna be getting into my red lip phase soon. Look at that, how that would look on the lips. I wanna put it on now. <laughs> so pretty, but I love the color and I love the packaging of this. Just like a little peekaboo moment with the color. Gorgeous. It does have some staining, so there's gonna be some lasting power to the color. In addition to the lacquer, I found that with other lacquers though, if you've tried ones before, but they also sent over Culmination, Beyond, and Ecstasy in here. I'm gonna swatch you, and you are in 101 Ecstasy. Ooh, that's pretty. I love how opaque they are and the amount of shine they have, like that kind of vinyl shine. Then Shuomura did a collaboration with Onisuka Tiger, and this really caught my eye. I was so excited when they reached out asking for my shoe size, because you're gonna see. They did a makeup collaboration, but also came out with a sneaker pair for it, which is so beautiful. I've already worn it, so they're kind of dirty. <laughs> but we have the Rouge Unlimited Lacquer Shine Lipstick, and I love the vibrant colors of this collection really beautiful packaging too we got a red my kind of red <laughs> then they sent over this is a hard formula it says on it the brown pencil in here and then one of their eyelash curlers which shumura you know i use my super mario one they did a collaboration with nintendo which i use every day and this one is equally as cute it has the sneaker on it, which they sent me a pair in my size. So here are the shoes they sent over. They are like walking on a cloud. I absolutely love them and I'm so thankful for these. I run my shoes to the ground. You should see my Adidas ones that I have. So I was in need of a new sneaker pair and these I'm definitely gonna get a ton of use out of. They're gonna be my new go-tos. Like I love this color, I'm obsessed with orange or anything fiery like this. Red, red orange and orange. Those are my kind of colors right there. So I'm so thankful for those. Then Givenchy sent over a package. They came out with a new fragrance, which if you guys followed me for a while, you know Givenchy is like top for fragrance for me. I love their fragrance. They usually do no wrong. This is no exception. It is really nice. It's still not my favorite Givenchy they've ever done, but it's definitely one that I'm keeping and is beautiful. It is their irresistible fragrance. And the bottle looks like this gorgeous packaging and this is a fruity floral fragrance which you guys know is my favorite it does have a little bit of musk in it but i feel like it's more bright and fresh fruity floral than something that's deeper and i would have preferred a little bit more musk personally and i think it would have been way better but it's still like a beautiful fruity floral if you like fruity floral fragrances say that multiple times because that just took me so long to say <laughs> then you're gonna really like this it's a beautiful fragrance if you're into Givenchy like me they make really great fragrances and as I said this is no exception I definitely have others that I prefer over this but again it's a beautiful scent I'm definitely gonna be wearing it a ton and then they also sent over one of their La Rose Perfecto liquid bombs in purple ride and I'm really excited for this color I love the packaging that they do for it but this isn't as purple as you would think because I got scared initially when I saw this but you can definitely sheer this out a bit and if you guys remember if you follow me for a long time my love for the Lancome Juicy Tubes which also just recently came out that I haven't got my hands on they had a shade called Grape Soda so I was obsessed with wearing a pink lipstick with a purple glaze on top, which is kind of what I'm going to throw back using this for. So I was really excited to see the color. I know this is gonna be for everyone, but for me, it just took me back to that time in my life. And then they also sent over another of their Prism Libre powders. I think they always have to include this in a package. It's a bestseller of theirs. It's not one of my personal favorite powders, but it does have these color correctors in it if that's kind of your thing. It's not a bad powder, I just reach for other ones. It does have a beautiful radiant finish though, so definitely one to check out. And I've never tried 
or I don't think I have, Givenchy eyeshadows before. So they sent over two palettes and the packaging of these are gorgeous. I thought they'd be a little bit heavier, but this is what they look like. You just press the button. This is like a old school packaging updated to include some new kind of features in here. Let me just top these off. So this is, what are you? LE 9.04. Where's your name? Is that your name? So here are the colors really unique and pretty. I like the kind of color scheme they have. They have some blues and greens in here and we've actually moved past the stage of including those cheapy little sponge applicators and they actually have mini brushes in here which it's the first time seeing this for palettes like this which I'm so happy that we've passed that stage so we have a little eyeshadow brush and a little blending brush. Just notice we can attach them like that. How perfect. I'm happy we have passed the sponge applicator stage and actually are trying to do little brushes in these kind of compacts. So that is actually pretty cool in my opinion. And then we have LE 9.02, so we don't have names. I wasn't expecting these kind of colors from Givenchy. I don't know what I was expecting honestly, but look at that shade. It has this crazy kind of duochrome in it. It looks purple with gold or something I don't know like a greeny gold very interesting when I first open this it's not something I feel like I would gravitate towards to use this kind of formula but I have not even touched it or played with it I feel like it would be best saved for maybe like a trying new makeup or something like that but let me know if you've tried these palettes before I think it's kind of cool that they're upgrading from sponge applicators <laughs> Finally, then we have the Academy Scientifique de Beauté. I love their products. I fell in love with their hand cream. So when I saw this package, I got so excited. This is a brand I would never have checked out otherwise. And I have fallen in love with their products. They work so well for my skin. We have their Hydroderm Apple Extract Rich Cream. And this has a 98.4% natural origin. That's another thing I love about them. They do have natural origin ingredients and they're very effective. So we also have their 24 hour Hydroderm Serum, which has that same apple extract. They included a mask in here too, which is so handy because this is very practical for me and I'm definitely gonna be getting used. So thank you for doing that. We have their moisturizing toner. Again, that's another toner I wanna try. I'm probably gonna try out this one over the Kiehl's personally, just because I've had really good success with the company. It just works for my sensitive skin. Yes, you did. Okay, they sent over their Sakura Imperial Hand Cream. I love their hand cream. Like the best hand cream I've ever, ever tried. So I'm very excited. And then we also have a gentle peeling cleanser two in one. We'll see how that goes too. If you have not checked out the brand, definitely check out their hand cream first. Amazing, especially with the cooler months coming up here. You're gonna thank me later. Like it is phenomenal. A couple more packages to go through. Pixie sent over this cute little fanny pack. They included a lip maximizer in this pink shade, their pure hydration gel H2O skin drink. We have one of their glittery eye quads which I definitely wanna try out. Like how gorgeous does that look? And then they have their makeup melting cleansing cloth. And then the last package is from Joyco, which is a hair company. And in here, we have a bunch of products. Again, I'm very excited for. So we have their Joyful Volumizing Styler. We have their Volumizing Shampoo, which I need. It's just hard to find a volumizing shampoo and conditioner that doesn't dry out your hair. So I'm hoping these are hydrating. We have the conditioner, joyful conditioner. We have their blowout thermal protection cream, which is awesome. And then a texturizing finisher, which I think I'm gonna sh throw in my hair after and just play around with, because my hair is limp but frizzy and I don't know, it's just not good. They also kindly sent me a mug from David's Tea. Some tea in here and a little infusing mug really cute. That is everything for this month's PR haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you found some products you want to check out and if there's anything in this video that you would like me to review further and test out first, 
please let me know because that's how I work the channel. You guys can see what I have in these videos and then can also direct me as to what you're interested in, which works out perfectly. So I'm happy to have these back in regular rotation and just very thankful for all these brands to continue to support the channel. Thank you for you guys for supporting me as well. As always, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I'm just happy for things to start to kind of get back to normal, even though in September things won't be for me because my kids will be staying home. I know I have had a couple people ask, they're staying home with me until I see things going well. I'm doing a wait and see approach. That's just what I feel comfortable with I respect everyone else's decision and I'm going on a tangent now about school. But September is next. That's what triggered me after August. So that's everything. Let me know your favorite product below in the comment section. I'd love to hear. Again, if there's anything that you would like further reviews on or would like to see next on my channel, please let me know as well because you guys get this moving for me. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so. Just hit that red button below and the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video.